This is Tara Carr from the University of Arizona presenting discussions with patients to optimize asthma control. There are many potential factors that can contribute to severe asthma and to poor asthma control in patients who have severe or less severe asthma. The first very important is inhaler technique. There are many types of inhalers available on the market and our patients can't necessarily determine how to use it on their own or using videos available online. So it's important for a pharmacist or a nurse or a physician to review inhaler technique with the patient. Have the patient bring their inhalers to each appointment and show you how they're using it so you can determine that they're using it properly. There are also many barriers to regular use of inhalers which reduce patient adherence to their regular therapies. Some barriers include frequent dosing of medications. So once daily dosing may be preferable to twice daily dosing but other patients may not use their medications regularly because they're not remembering or because they're afraid to, because they believe that there's too much medicine or they're having side effects like oral thrush or sore throat. Addressing these barriers and helping patients to overcome their concerns are very important in improving adherence. Also cost of medications can make it hard for patients to use their medicines regularly. So this is a great conversation to have honestly with your patients. Comorbidities which contribute to uncontrolled asthma include obesity, acid reflux, chronic sinusitis, and sleep apnea. If you suspect any of these comorbidities, then please address them with your patients, including appropriate testing when available. Environmental exposures, including pets at home, like cats, dogs, mold in the home, dust in the home, dust mites in the bed, and work environmental exposures can cause patients to have uncontrolled symptoms during the day or during the week or at night. Identifying those triggers and exposures and modifying when appropriate and available can be very helpful for controlling patients' asthma. Many patients who have asthma identify activity limitations, including activities of daily life and limitations of exercise. Optimizing asthma therapy may help patients overcome these limitations and exercise to improve their overall health and their lung function. Psychosocial issues can be pervasive and include anxiety, depression, and social difficulties. Patients who lack support at home and who lack the infrastructure in their home to maintain nebulizers and medications are going to have a very hard time treating their asthma. Asthma action plans can be very informative for patients and provide a written plan for treatment of daily symptoms and intermittent symptoms, as well as identification of exacerbations and enabling patients to seek emergency care when appropriate. A written asthma action plan could be provided to every patient and updated for each visit. Patients with severe asthma should be referred to a specialty asthma center if the asthma seems to be uncontrolled despite assessment and addressing all of these factors which contribute to their symptoms, exacerbations, and quality of life. Specialty asthma centers may have access to biologic therapies as well as additional diagnostic modalities which can identify comorbidities and modifiable risk factors.